and I'm walking along a trail. This is Calcat, and Sunday, uh, June the 26th, I think, 27th, somewhere around there. June 26th. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw you a quick, like, directly on the cell phone camera blurb from, I guess this can go on the On Location Cats 1 channel, because there hasn't been a lot on there. Uh, yeah, we've, been, we've been doing mostly reviews. We've been doing mostly uh, stuff like that. Um, uh, on the other channel. And we've been showing up the the Star Trek Chimera channel in anticipation of a September release of the, the fan film series slash fan film thing. Uh, apparently, a couple of days ago, they, the Paramount Pictures officially posted on their website guidelines relating to Star Trek fan films. Now, I've already gone over that on the other side if you want to see that. Yeah, um, their guidelines are unfair. They are um, not actionable. Uh, however, uh, where does uh, our parody channel fit in all of that? Uh, it's not entirely clear at this point whether it actually does fit in with all that. <laughs> but, uh, nearly as uh, Mark's cards I have deduced thus far, this and the free role-playing game, which is more of a strategy thing with a um, writing, writing blog thing. It's going to be. Uh, so it's not, there's no footage of that. It's fine then. That's it's, it's only pertains to the guidelines. Only pertains to the written stuff if it's turned into print and then turned into a script. If it becomes an episode, they freak out at Paramount. So, uh, so we don't, we are not connected to Star Trek and Paramount in any way. Uh, we're, we're more connected to, the, well, we're not connected to Disney either. We just like Disney. We're fans. So, yeah. So, even if we had them, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> But yeah, the, some of our suggestions did end up there indirectly because they were a good idea. Uh, they are probably going to amend those rules because they are too stringent. And they're probably going to say, like, okay, yeah, the episode length, that, why is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> hopefully they do amend that. Also, uh, also uh, Star Trek Chimera has been officially changed to avoid the copyright issues following the title to Starship Chimera. It's a Star Trek parody. So that's, there are no rules for parody, by the way. Uh, it's fair use. So you'll still know it's a Star Trek parody. You'll still see it and go like, oh, it's a Star Trek parody. Okay, fair use. We're good. You can have it as long as you want. You can have it the way you want. Do anything. You've done these other parodies and they're not for sale either. So they're all free. So length, not a problem. Copyright, not a problem. It's a parody. Uh, story, not a problem. Uh, characters, a little bit iffy, but if it's a parody, it's fine. So, uh, yeah, parody. Um, should be fine there. Uh, the uh, Transformers uh, stuff and Robotech stuff we do has never been flagged. Um, <laughs> uh, because we put our own music on it and we say, yeah, it's a spoof. It's a parody. It's fair use. So, because it's fair use, it should be all right. We'll let you know if Paramount freaks out. We release it when Chimera in September. Starship Chimera. The, the game will also be called, instead of Star Trek locations, it'll be called Star Trek uh, Starship locations to avoid that as well. And it'll also be a spoof. And, uh, but it's a role playing thing, and unlike the massive multiplayer thing online, Star Trek Online, it's not related to that, and it's going to do business as, um, so, yeah. So, like the, uh, say, like Gamelt, like, like that one from the, the Beyond being, like, Uncharted, this is going to be, uh, Silly Trek, Star Trek meets on location, uh, Star Trek, uh, parody, and therefore not, um, yeah, not a problem, it's a parody. Change the title slightly so that it's Starship Chimera. Same numbers, so you can find it there. Uh, yeah, very, we're fine.
So we're good. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little block. So, so yeah, um, I'm gonna walk in some doggy do over here. Not careful. Uh, and uh, yeah, the new guidelines are dumb. Uh, they should not blame all fan films for the stuff Axon Art did. And they totally should not flag a fan film made with action figure toys from the 90s. Yeah, so they're not going to touch it. <laughs> if they want to contact the Calcat show and complain over their Paramount, not the fans. The fans will not do any good complaining to Calcat. He doesn't know anybody, and if he did, he wouldn't tell you. Um, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah. Um, yeah, also they're at uh, Trek Yards. They're also worried about that. But theirs is technically a review channel. They shouldn't have a problem. They're a review channel, so they're good. Uh, this is also a review channel, so it's good. Uh, a review is, is fair use. In fact, clips from the show should be fair use if it's done for review. I wouldn't do it, but you can uh, take a chance. Uh, so, there you go. But, um...